um, we divided them into different groups on the basis of the PSIQ score. So we had individuals who reported a complete lack of imagery, so who gave a rating of one on all the, all the scales on this, um, and then individuals who had a bit of a higher rating, but still below the sort of cutoff rating of four. This cutoff rating is based on the work of uh, Reshan Reed, who was published on this. And then we have uh, typical images as a uh, control group. And these are our results. So here on the x-axis, we have the three groups. So we have the control group, um, the individuals with very what we call core aphantasia, and then individuals with hyperaphantasia. Uh, on the y-axis, we have the symptom score. What it means is that the higher the score, the more stronger you feel, the higher is your self-reported autonomic reactivity. And what we find is that if we compare the control group with the aphantasia group, what we find is the aphantasia group has a significantly lower level of autonomic reactivity.